friends, it's time for another Friday fun fact where I'll give you a tasty little bit of information that you might not have known before. It's almost summer, and it's already ridiculously hot out, so let's talk about some frozen treats to cool you down. Ice cream, gelato, sherbet, and Italian ice. Ice desserts originated in the East, with Marco Polo bringing back descriptions of fruit ices from China. From there, the Italians stole that idea wholesale and created what we now know as water and milk ices. Catherine de' Medici brought the trend to France, where it moved to the US. What we know as ice cream is made by combining milk, cream, flavorings, sugar, and various stabilizers, usually egg, while being agitated, heated, pasteurized, homogenized, and frozen. While that does sound a bit complicated, it's totally doable at home. Make a custard, boil it so it's safe, then put it in something cold and agitate it until it looks approximately like soft serve, which you then freeze if you want the better kind of ice cream, not soft serve. There are a billion and one flavors, mostly thanks to our friends Ben and Jerry. So what's the difference between that and gelato? Well, it depends who you ask. If you ask an Italian, they'll probably say that gelato is 100% better all of the time, always. But if you ask the Food Network, they'll give you a bit more of a breakdown. Gelato is denser, smoother, and creamier than ice cream. It's basically what soft serve ice cream would be if it knew what was good for itself. There's less cream and more milk in gelato, and there's usually no egg yolks. In addition, there's less butter fat and less air in gelato, making it denser. Gelato is typically served at a warmer temperature than American ice cream, so it's smoother and softer, to the point that it's not scooped, you serve gelato with a spade. The flavorings are typically a bit different too, while I'm not saying that gelato can't be as wild and free as Ben & Jerry's, you usually don't see the same combos and additions, probably because the texture and temperature are so different. More fun to go around though. Moving on from my not-so-obvious bias, we have sherbet. The target of a long-standing argument on how to produce and spell it, sherbet is basically the lower-fat version of ice cream. Although traditionally it's only fruit-flavored, and texture-wise it's a bit more icy than creamy. As an aside, sherbert is now technically an accepted spelling and pronunciation, but depending on where you live that might be hotly contested. I've linked an article below detailing the backstory there. What you do with that information is up to you. I'm saying sherbet, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Finally, we have Italian ice, or sorbet if you're French and fancy, or water ice if you live in close proximity to Philadelphia. So, Italian ice, of everything on this list, is by far the easiest to make and the only dairy and egg-free option. So if you're like me and lactose intolerant and unlike me actually care about your intestines, this one's a great treat. Simply put, Italian ice is sherbet without the dairy. Usually some kind of citrus flavor, lemons traditional, it's literally just water, sugar, zest, and juice. Boil water, add sugar, dissolve and let it cool. Add your fruity bits, pour into a baking pan, and put it in the freezer. Every half an hour, get in there and mix it up until it's crystallized but not frozen solid. It takes about three hours. Highly recommend. So what's your favorite? Are you planning on making any of these yourself this summer? Let us know in the comments. Want more inspiration? Check out these books. They're all in our library system. Like and subscribe for more Friday fun facts, and I'll see you next time.